Did you take a peek at that uh, partial eclipse this afternoon? No, I didn't. And, you know, some people asked me about it, and I deliberately didn't mention that we were going to have one. I'm frightened that little children won't understand and will just look straight at it and hurt themselves. Well, one of, one of our little children got an opportunity to view the spectacular. Jennifer Flowers has that report. It didn't cause total darkness. It was a partial eclipse. This tracking device at the UALR planetarium made it possible to safely view the celestial happening, one of four visible in the Little Rock area this year. The moon started moving into the sun's path about three this afternoon. Now the geometry of this is that we have the uh, moon actually moving in front of the sun. So what we have is the sun, moon, earth type of situation. This isn't an image. With the use of a special filter, we were able to capture the real thing. Scientists say that although eclipses like this one occur several times throughout the year, our Kansas won't have the opportunity to view another until the latter part of 1979. The Chinese have an interesting theory on the eclipse. They feel in actuality it's a frightful dragon trying to eat the sun. In order to drive the dragon away, they shake their fists and beat on things and do tribal dances. But of course, in these modern times, we're too scientific to revert to things like that. Jennifer Flowers, Channel 4, I would issue.